taking a vacation, maybe just a weekend trip for the holiday. Well, make sure you know how much you really have to spend. Troy Sutton has advice on taking a break without breaking the bank in this week's KTAB Financial Friday. It's vacation season. Woo -hoo -hoo! Americans spend an average $1,200 on their summer trips. They've budgeted, safe for their travels, but still, it is easy for even the best laid plans to get knocked off course. So, let's talk about how to avoid vacation budget busters. We all know and agree that vacations are well deserved. And when we start throwing around the B word, budget, People might feel like we are ruining the fun, don't rain on my parade. I run into this all the time with my clients, especially since many of them are retired and living on a fixed income, but here's what I tell them. I'm not trying to kill any fun, I'm just trying to prevent stress and headaches when you come home. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. All it takes is a little pre-planning now, and that will help you avoid staggering credit card bills later. So, figure out what you can really afford to spend on vacation, and then make sure you stick to it. A great way to do that is just use cash. Each day, carry only the amount allotted in your budget, and use credit cards for emergencies only. The second thing, remember, is that on vacation, sweating the small stuff may come in very handy. The big expenses like airfare and accommodations are easier to plan and budget for, but it's the little things that can get you. So here are five quick tips, small things you may not think about, but that can save you big. Number one, Ichibanda, avoid costly cab rides. A little pre-planning can save you. Taxis are pricey, and most cities have subways or buses, especially between downtown and the airport. Ask the concierge at the hotel, what is the best and cheapest way to get around the town that you're in? When I flew into Osaka, Japan, a taxi drive to my hotel from the airport would have been over 100 bucks, but it was $10 on the train. Sure, dragging my luggage behind me to and from the train is annoying, but that gave me $90 to spend on other things that were way more fun, like a yukata for my wife. Totemo subarashi! That means very wonderful. Don't travel hungry. That's number two. You know that you shouldn't shop hungry, just don't travel hungry either. Nothing sinks a travel budget like dining expenses, especially with unexpected travel delays. I learned this from my wife, who always carries snacks like protein bars and a water bottle. Now this also came in handy as our kids grew older because they tended to eat more as they aged. Number three, eat smart. Similarly, you can save hundreds of dollars if you, if you make smart choices about where or when you eat on vacation. Take advantage of continental breakfasts at the hotel. Get a hotel room with a fridge and a microwave so you can get groceries for cheap and eat in your room. Go out to eat for lunch since meals are often smaller and less expensive at lunchtime than at dinner time and bring your leftovers back to your room. I've watched one of my clients who orders one entree with his wife every time they go out to eat and they split that entree between them. They're freaking millionaires and they've done that for years. Number four, sightsee for free. Just about every city has free museums or parks to visit. Think the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia, the Smithsonian in DC. Some museums will be free on one day, like the first Monday of each month. Not everything you want to see will be free, but you can certainly find some free to add memories and fun to your trip without the high costs. And last but not least, skip the souvenirs. Swiss chocolates, Statue of Liberty playing cards, Eiffel Tower kitchen magnets. We often feel the need to pack up little souvenirs for all of our loved ones and co-workers. Talk about an easy way to blow your budget. If you really need to get someone a trinket from your trip, check online. You can probably find something cheaper and you won't have to try and stuff it in your suitcase to bring it home. Instead, Look for truly unique, locally made items for your special friends and family. Vacations should be fun and rewarding and ought not cause stress upon your return from poor planning. So remember those tips and by George, enjoy your summer vacation. Lastly, Irma Bombeck quipped, when you look like your passport photo, it's time to go home. Have a great week. 
All right, thank you, Troy. If you would like more advice, you can contact Sutton Financial Group. They are located at 2449 South Willis and Suite 106. You can call them at 437-0709 or go to suttonfinancialgroup.com.